Hello, welcome to GP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's see how to export the Primavera project into Primavera contract format. Data can be transferred from a P6 project module user to a Primavera contract 5 or 6 user by exporting into XR files. First, open the project that you want to export in the PM module. Choose, go to the menu bar and choose file, click export, choose Primavera contractor doc bracket XCR format and there you can select the version 5 or 6.1 or later and then click next choose project as the export type and click next then mark the export checkbox next to the project that you want to export you can only export one project at a time after selecting this click next Type a name of the XCR file to specify the location where the file to be stored. Click the browse button and store it into your local drive. Remember that the Primavera contractor does not contain some of the functionality available in the PM module like uh, budget data, EPS codes, financial periods, funding data, issues, issue codes, risk roles, thresholds, project codes, portfolios, resource shifts, uh, etc. This kind of data which are present in the Primavera P6 XCR file won't be present in the Primavera contract file. Similarly, you can export the resources as well. The PM module enables you to export only the resources in your resource hierarchy to Primavera contract 5 or 6.1 XCR files. To do that, go to this menu bar, choose file, click export and then choose Primavera contractor 6.1 or later or 5 and then click next. Then choose resource only as a project export type and then click next type a name of the xcr file here to specify the location where the file to be stored click the browse button and specify the location and then finally click finish to export the resources to a single file with an xcr extension so this is how we export the contractor uh, project files and resource files once you get the updated schedule from the contractor, you can import these into the XCR formats to the P6 primary module and thereby you have the updated schedule. So this is how we transfer the data from primary contract users. I hope you understood this video tutorial. Please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.